is if you connect this to the Leibniz challenge. So Leibniz was the last um, person in Europe to be able to teach every course taught in Europe in that time. So uh, all fields taught at all universities in Europe, Leibniz could teach several hundred years ago. No one since can teach all the courses, can master all the courses, and so there's an underlying scarcity. Now, the scarcity is actually addressable because um, if you have uh, each social innovation as a center point and identify every field that intersects it, that's 100 people plus that intersect any social innovation I've ever met. You know, that's why we say uh, every organization on the planet, every social innovation um, adopter has a two order of magnitude micro leadership role diversification gap. They need to create a hundred times more roles for stakeholders to participate in their micro social movement in support of the social innovation. And that allows us to address the Leibniz challenge. No one can know all the fields. And if you're a social entrepreneur, you're going to be missing 95% of the fields that indirectly intersect your work. Maybe if you're lucky, you're master of 50% of the fields that directly intersect your work. But the point is that you're never going to have that level of uh, knowledge dominance vis-a-vis -a, -vis a social innovation as a Leibniz unless you leverage the tacit knowledge networks. So how do you leverage the tacit knowledge networks? That's on a... Uh, new culture of learning, uh, the the John Silly Brown book. You can see it's basically creating a, um, a radical agency through iteration, through um, data self awareness, data collaborative awareness, uh, peer support, and bonding social capital within adventure teams. So effectively, in the social innovation movement, we've had a conflation often of bonding versus bridging social capital. And what we need the bonding social capital for is to get people into micro leadership roles over time. That's a bonding kind of structure. What we need the bridging social capital for is for say, Canovo to social innovation replicate. You know, Canovo replicates one social innovation a year from the rest of the world to Latin America, they, they you know, they, they bridge to a social innovation on the other side of the world. Or I, 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 I bridge to someone who connects this and that uh, wonderful thing uh, together. And that, 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 that's, a, that's a bridging social capital role. And for social innovation, what we need is effectively bonding social capital among the hundred fields that connect any social innovation gap in society in order to have impact potential be realizable, proportionate to social innovation theoretical impact potential. Great, great.